Hello, everyone. Hoping you're all well. It's a cold day here in Connecticut. I guess winter is coming, but hopefully the warmth of Shabbat will keep us going as it soon will be entering our lives. Recently, the entire world, the Jewish world certainly, paused to mark the observance of the first yard site of Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, former chief rabbi of Great Britain and a remarkable teacher whose dozens of books, articles, radio addresses, and teachings filled our lives and hearts with much wisdom. In the course of his life, he would give hundreds of lectures in the course of a year. He would speak with many thousands of people, including heads of state, and always had a message for his audience. He was once asked, Rabbi Sachs, is there one question you are asked more than any other? And he did not hesitate. He replied, certainly. And what is that question? Very simply, do you remember me? Anyone who does public speaking can attest to the fact that that's a very frequently asked question and one that's not always easy to answer, but it points to a very deep human necessity. We all want to be remembered. We all want to be cherished. We all want someone to know who we are and to help care for us. In the portion of Chaye Sarah, the portion is framed by the sad loss of two very crucial figures in our lives. First, Sarah leaves the scene at age 127 years. The text there tells us that Sarah was literally 100 years old and 20 years old and seven years old. Our commentators suggest it's phrased that way to teach us that she was as beautiful and she was as fresh at age 100 as she was at age 20 and at age seven. At the end of the portion, we are told that Abraham dies at 175 years of age, old and ripe and content with his life. All of us would love to have that kind of experience at the end of our days. And I guess the most important question really is, how do we help each other to get there? The question that Rabbi Sachs was asked so often is a beautiful and wonderful key. We help each other live our best lives, hopefully a long life, when we are always ready to say, yes, indeed, I do remember you. I know who you are. I can see that this is your need at this hour, and I am here to be with you. We care about you. We are a community that nurtures you, and we will always do our very best to remember and cherish you. If we can do that, then maybe we too will be granted the kind of lives that our ancestors, Sarah and Abraham, were merited to have. All the best to everyone, wishing you well, and a Shabbat Shalom.